The Jungle Grapevine by Alex Beard. Read by me, Alex Beard. Turtle and bird walked under the African sun. The watering hole is always good for a laugh, Turtle said, but lately the humor has been drying up. Bird took off. As he flew, he wondered, what did Turtle say? Bird saw elephant. Bird said, I just saw Turtle. He told me the watering hole is drying up. It takes a lot of water to quench an elephant's thirst. Just the idea of a drought made elephant trumpet. Elephant's trumpeting woke up snake. What's so exciting, he asked. Elephant bellowed, the watering hole is dry. Snake slithered off to see for himself. When snake arrived, the watering hole was full. He told crocodile, the watering hole is not too dry. It's too high. If anything, it will flood. A flood would wash away the banks where crocodile slept in the sun. He snapped his teeth and splashed his tail in distress. Crocodile's splashing spooked a flock of flamingos. Taking flight, they filled the sky and called a warning. Croc, croc, flee, flee. Crocodile thought the flamingo's warning was for him, proof that his fears of a flood had come true. He shouted, my gracious, it has begun. Gazelle was startled by the ruckus. She sprinted off across the plains. Gazelle saw lion on the prowl. To save herself, she repeated what she thought Crocodile had shouted. Gazelle exclaimed, the migrations have begun. For lion, the migrations of zebra and wildebeest herds meant easy hunting. He trotted off to the watering hole to catch his dinner. Of course, there were no zebras and no wildebeests at the watering hole. Instead, Lion saw a hippo. Lion skulked back into the bush, grumbling, don't believe everything you hear. Just then, Bird swooped down. He landed on Hippo's rump. Hippo wallowed down. I love the watering hole. It puts me in such a good humor, he said. Bird flew back to Turtle. I was just at the watering hole, he said, and Hippo has a good sense of humor. Turtle laughed. Hippo is funny. His jokes spread like wildfire, and when he gets going, there's no stopping him. Bird took off again. As he flew, he wondered, what did Turtle say? Something about a fire that can't be stopped. This podcast is brought to you by confettipark.com.